Hey guys, Quinton TV here and welcome to a brand new video where today we are back with another Call of Duty commentary video. Now, uh, the gameplay you're seeing in the background is some M16 uh, gameplay on the new map Diesel and honestly, I thought this game was pretty good. I joined in late, I was six kills down and I managed to catch up. I didn't manage to win the game in the end, uh, but I did manage to come pretty close in the end. The second gameplay as well you're going to be seeing a bit later in this video is uh, one where I actually did win and I went on like a nine kill streak or something, uh, which is pretty good considering how recklessly I play Call of Duty. Um, and yeah, I managed to get the war machine. Uh, I'm really bad with the war machine now. I've gone on like some massive kill streaks with the war machine before, but I don't know. Like recently, I've just been getting absolutely massacred whenever I use it. I don't know why. Maybe they nerfed it. I'm not. I'm not. Not entirely too sure. And I'm yet to try out the uh, minigun or death machine, whatever you want to call it. And um, I'm yet to try that out. But yeah, we've got some pretty good gameplay for you guys. And I. I did try to get some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay for this video, uh, but honestly, the servers are fucking dead, and I'll get on into that in a bit, but if you don't know, in my uh, Call of Duty Vanguard video, which was the one where I was talking about it may be cancelled, uh, I did mention as a possibility that Modern Warfare Multiplayer Remastered uh, may be launching instead, but essentially, what I meant by this is, obviously, we already have a remastered version of the campaign, so, why do we not have a remastered version of the multiplayer? Like, it doesn't really make any sense. Like, uh, Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered came out in... I want to say, like, April last year. Maybe May, I'm not too sure, actually. But yeah, we got the campaign in May, and... Yeah, we didn't get the multiplayer, and we didn't get Spec Ops. So, when I talk about, in this video, uh, multiplayer remastered, I also do mean Spec Ops as well, because I'm pretty sure that if they were going to remaster multiplayer, uh, that's two-thirds of the game, so they may as well just remaster all of it, to be quite honest with you. Uh, honestly, it really does make sense. But anyway, uh, in this video, uh, we're not going to waste any more time. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, five reasons that I think Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer multiplayer remastered should be a thing because honestly we're all looking forward to it anyone that's been called playing call of duty for a long time anyone who's played modern warfare 2 believes that we should have a modern warfare 2 because honest to god that game is just absolutely elite there's nothing else to really say about it but without further ado Let's jump into the points. So what I'm going to try and do with this video is not like cut it up into like transition slides. I'm just going to have like maybe the text come on stream, uh, on screen, so not stream, fucking hell. Uh, come on screen. Yes, I almost struggled with it again. Uh, it gonna, it basically, it's going to come on stream. Uh, fucking hell, I keep saying it wrong. But yeah, I'm going to have the text come on screen, there we go, uh, whenever we change points. So the first point I quickly wanted to mention is that Modern Warfare 2 is a classic, and for many people it's regarded as one of the best cards, if not the best card of all time. So that kind of just means it warrants a remaster. Like, I played Modern Warfare 2, I'd have to say it's probably second or third in my favourite Call of Duties. Like, obviously, nothing can top Black Ops 2 for me, to be quite honest with you. Like, Black Ops 2 was just absolutely fucking insane. Like, if they remastered that game, I'd be fucking happy. But anyway, um, yeah, just the fact that it's a classic and it's one of the best CODs of all time, even though there are some really annoying features in that game, it just shows that people really, really like that game. Like, fucking hell. There are people, even though I said the servers are dead, there are people still trying to play it, and occasionally you can get into a game. Occasionally. It does take you, like, nine years to find a match, but once you get into a game, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Like, all the weapons are so just fun to use, like, back in the day when they had the really overpowered weapons, like, when the game first came out, it was, uh, the, I think it's the Remingtons? Yeah, dual wheel Remingtons, and they were basically sniper rifles, and you could shoot people across the map, and it was fucking, fucking insane, like, I've seen gameplay of them, because obviously I didn't play COD at this time, I started playing COD, uh, at the end of Black Ops 2, slash start of Ghosts, so, yeah, I've been playing for a decent amount of time. It's nearly been 10 years. Fucking hell. It's been 8 years I've been, been playing COD, like, fully. And that's kind of insane, to be quite honest with you. But, like, could you imagine how hyped the fans would be if Activision just came out and said, 
oh yeah, we're remastering the multiplayer and Spec Ops for this game, everyone would just lose their shit on the internet, honest to God. Like, if Vanguard gets cancelled, uh, even though this is all very unlikely, like, I do think that Activision will release Vanguard at the end of the year, and that w we won't get Modern Warfare 2 remastered, uh, multiplayer remastered, for a, a very long time, because I believe that Activision is kind of, like, saving it for a rainy day, in a sense, like... Obviously, uh, COD 4 Remastered came out uh, in 2016 alongside Infinite Warfare, because Infinite Warfare, they knew that shit was going to flop, and everyone was playing Modern Warfare Remastered, because that was definitely the better game that year. Honest to God, that was such a fun game, and I had an amazing year in Call of Duty playing that game. But yeah, the hype would just be unreal. Twitter would fucking explode, and in a good in a good way for once. Usually, when Twitter explodes, it's absolute pure degeneracy. But uh, we are going to move on now to the next point, and that is the fact that rumors of multiplayer uh, have been around for a while, and the rumors actually state that this game is probably actually already finished. Now, uh, the reason that we should get this, uh, is the fact it would just purely be wasting the devs' time. Like, devs have put so much effort into remastering Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, it'd be a shame for us not to have it. But the thing is, what is actually stopping Activision from releasing this? Like, if it's already finished, then why haven't they released it? Um, obviously, we have what I said before about the saving it for a rainy day when a really bad Call of Duty comes out. Uh, but, you know, I'm not sure if we're going to get one of those for a while. Um, obviously, with Modern Warfare 2, uh, sorry, I, I say that, uh, Infinity Ward's 2022 title, uh, that's probably a bit of a less confusing way to say it, uh, since their title is going to be coming out soon, like, I don't think that game's going to flop. Modern Warfare 2019 was a massive success. So, yeah, it's kind of unlikely that they're going to uh, have a rainy day unless... The World War II Vanguard uh, rumours are actually, you know, true, and this game actually might get cancelled. If that's the case, Activision will definitely want to release some form of product this year to, you know, capitalise on the holiday sales. And if they release a physical copy as well, that can also be hel helpful. Obviously, I have Campaign Remastered on a digital download, but honestly, I would be pretty interested in buying a disc, just to, you know, like, put it up in my collection and maybe make it like a Xbox Series X enhanced game. I think that could be pretty cool. Like coupled with the holiday see uh, holiday season, uh, like all the hype behind it, those things would be fucking flying off shelves. I don't understand how Activision hasn't realised that. And you know, like we have also the digital marketplace perspective, like flying off the cloud. Uh, yeah, it really doesn't uh, fit the same. But anyway, we're gonna move on to the next point, which I did mention at the start of this video, and that is the fact that the game is fucking dead. Like, obviously, it's ridiculously hard to get into a game. I've been back and played it a few times, but honestly, it's so fucking hard to find a game. It's You'll be waiting for like 15, 20 minutes just to find one lobby, and at least they don't kick you out. You'll be playing against the same people, but you know, it's much better than the alternative with Modern Warfare 2019, Black Ops Cold War, and all the recent Call of Duties, where they literally just kick you out of the game after every um, match, so they can, like, reevaluate you in skill-based matchmaking, which is kind of shit, but that's just kind of how it is. I've... Actually, I don't think I've ever made a video on skill-based matchmaking, uh, obviously, because it's probably been taught to death. And maybe if it's really prevalent in this year's Call of Duty, I'll probably mention it. Uh, but anyway... Uh, that is pretty much it. The servers are dead. A remaster would definitely fix that because everyone, coupled with, you know, like, the hype behind Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, like, it would honestly fly off shelves and the servers will be absolutely packed. As long as they avoid, like, a World War 2 Day 1 launch thing, then, you know, we're, we're sorted. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, everyone can jump on and enjoy the game without having to deal with the shitty servers on previous gen. Wait, not even previous gen at this point. It's like... Fucking, uh, I'm not even, the gen before last, like, 360 feels like so long ago now, it's kind of ridiculous. But, uh, the next point is the fact that Activision, Activision, yes, Activision would make absolutely shed loads of money from this. Like, fucking hell, if they decided to, like, you know, do a Ghost-style, like, camo purchase system, or even, like, a Black Ops Cold War one, where you've got the store and everything, they would make so much fucking money, and especially from the sales as well, like, it would be insane, the amount of money that would be generated from this game. Like, 
I don't think it would be unprecedented essentially. Loads of people who haven't played Call of Duty for a while would go out and get this game just because it's fun. And maybe if they have it on like Game Pass or something, I don't know, uh, it could end up being, you know, really, really popular. Like Xbox Game Pass is an absolutely amazing service. As I've mentioned before, it's not for me. But uh, it is a pretty good service, I will uh, say that. So yeah, it's kind of like a no-brainer, really, for Activision. Like, why the fuck haven't they done this? They would make absolutely fuck tons of money. And that kind of relates back to the point that they're saving it for a rainy day when funds are going to be low for Activision. They'll be like, right, we'll release this, get some more money, and then we can put this into the next free Call of Duty games or something like that. And the final point that I wanted to mention today is that Black Ops Cold War is really not for everyone. Like, personally, I'm a pretty big fan of the game, but for some people... They just really don't enjoy it. Like, Zavo, for example, he's not a fan of the multiplayer whatsoever. So, a Modern Warfare 2 Remastered would help a lot of people. It will get them back into Call of Duty. Like, I know, maybe some people are still playing Warzone. If they released a Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, I, I guarantee that some people who are playing Warzone would go over to that, if only temporarily. Black Ops Cold War really isn't for everyone, and that's one of the reasons Modern Warfare 2 Remastered... Uh, would help because obviously as I said uh, there's a good chance that if Modern Warfare 2 Remastered releases at the end of this year uh, Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare 2019 will be continued to be supported so um, if you're not fun a fan of Black Ops Cold War you've got Modern Warfare 2019 and if you're not a fan of that you've got Modern Warfare 2 Remastered you've got plenty plenty of options uh, for Call of Duty this year, yeah, well, potentially uh, this year. So, anyway, that's going to be it for today's video here. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. I don't think it's going to be more than 15 minutes. If it is, well, I'm going to just go and fucking jump off a cliff at this point. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I have noticed we've gained quite a few subs over the last few days, so uh, thank you all immensely for that. It really does mean a lot. Uh, honestly, what does scare me though is the fact that my 50 subscribers video I've been working on since like November last year and honestly it's nowhere near done. Like there's so many things that I want to uh, like add to that video and you know I just haven't had time to add them and I need to make more videos to actually like you know kind of um, get some stuff for it and that's probably a bit of a hint of uh, what is actually going to be happening for 50 subscribers, but anyway, uh, yeah, please don't get me to 50 subscribers anytime soon uh, Honestly, like I'm not prepared for it just yet I mean, I probably could leave it a bit maybe to 51 52 subscribers uh, Who knows at this fucking point, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy Please leave a like and subscribe any subscribe uh, subscriber is really appreciated I love every single one of you and yeah until the next one guys. I'll see you in the next one Activision, please release MW2 Remastered.